It is a mind reeling thought to think of the the information that might one day come come fluttering through our radio telescopes from an advanced civilization somewhere else. Any communication, I think, will be mostly from them to us because they will have very little to learn from us and probably an enormous amount to teach us, not just in areas of science, but in other areas, some of which we can only dimly guess at today. I don't share George Wald's fears that such a contact would be a disaster. I, I think rather it's a supreme opportunity to learn something. But in any case, we, we can't hold back. We've already communicated our presence to the universe because about 30 or 40 light years away from the Earth, there's a wave front of electromagnetic radiation which is moving away from us at the speed of light. This is the result of our first large scale radio communications back in the 20s and 30s. And there's no holding that back. That indicates our presence. We've already communicated our presence to the universe. Now, we have before seen the difficulty in determining the presence of life on Earth photographically. Were we on Mars, just the same difficulty would, would be the case, but there'd be an easy way to detect life on Earth from Mars. You'd construct a small, modest radio telescope pointed at the Earth, and when the North American continent turned around towards Mars, there'd be this blast of radio emission, which uh, would certainly not be totally random noise, due to domestic television transmission on Earth. It's a very sobering thought, I think, that the, the only signs of intelligent life on Earth detectable over large distances are the often baleful contents of American television programs and uh, the radar defense networks of the United States and the Soviet Union. Um, at the same time, though, I think that it would be very remarkable any extraterrestrial civilization would be able to see it. It's only in the last 40 years that the radio uh, brightness of the Earth increased, and now it's increased at such a rate that at some radio frequencies, the Earth is brighter than the Sun. They would conclude that something extraordinary had certainly happened in the vicinity of the Earth.